playing alongside Rosen Mueller, a couple of young studs, one tour bound, the other the number on the outside looking in. This is Isaiah Salinda, the player tour bound, head of the PJ Tour next season. Already had plenty of PJ Tour experience, James. He's played a U.S. Open, is at a top 10 on the PJ Tour. It's one of those kids I think you look at as prime to have a great season next go. year. As you go back to some play, just a couple hours for you. So we'll show you as much golf as we can. Here's Salinda. I just needed to hit it. That was a great read. Yeah, big putt there. That's the eagle. A lot of firepower in this group. Thursday, Thomas Rosenmuller, who just found out earlier this week he was officially tour bound. Even par on the day, this at the 12th. Shane Bacon with James Nitties to take you through the action on this Friday. That comes up just shy at this par five. Go back over to the 12th, Rosen Mueller trying to get this up and down for birdie. Yeah, this entire group with massive drives here at the par five down the middle. Awkward pitch shot from the front of the front. Yeah, very emotional. He was the guy that missed by pretty much one shot last year of making it to the Tour Championships, finished 76th. As we see Rosenmuller making a beautiful putt for birdie here. Quite large greens, but a lot of undulations, a lot of hole locations protected by bowls and shelves. Tough to get a straight putt. What a putt. What a putt. What a roll. Isaiah Salenda tacking on another birdie in the second round, racing up this leaderboard. Now Rosenmuller, middle of the fairway here at 14. How about those stats for the day? 12 of 13 screens hit. It's a tough hole location here. Back left. This aggressive swing. What a shot. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Here and there, curling a tie for second at seven under. And going with the layup. Didn't think he was going to go with that play, but that flag sitting in the back, it's just a tricky one. If you miss it on your second, very hard to make up and down. Just 24 years of age is Noah Goodwin. Played his collegiate golf at SMU, three wins during his college years. Four now Goodwin for birdie. And this after a beautiful wedge shot. Just knows his game. Very efficient. Now Crick. 156 yards, need to be a step left. Tentative, you have that perfect one foot stroke and you commit to that. Yeah, just like that. Knew it off the blade. Excellent roll from the 36 year old. Good. Richie on this Friday around a tough golf course after a 71 to open. Here's Phillips. Could not walk it down here any better. Can he match Rosenmuller? We'll have to make it if he wants to. Yeah, that's very good. Of course. For the Nationwide Children's Hospital Championship, here's Goodwin at the sixth. From 82 yards. Oh, dial me up one, huh? Ooh. What a shot. Considering he's still in a great position, he's got to somehow turn it around in his head. Now Goodwin, now tied atop this leaderboard. Cut line right now, James, right around plus one. Doc Redman would love to knock this in. Won't have to check his phone nearly as much this afternoon. There you go, great birdie. Watch out for Doc Redman over the next couple weeks. Big couple of holes for Jacob Solomon right on the cut line right now. 17th, one of the toughest holes on the golf course. 18, difficult hole location today. Par par likely going to do it in terms of making this cut. And there you go. What a shot here at 17. 215 yards, one of the firmest greens out here at the Scarlet Course. And, what a... and you're talking about one of the more stressful putts he's had in his life. Look at that red number right there. Currently projected 79th on the points list. What Bang, a... right in the middle. What a time to do it. He is right on the cut line, came into the week 
60, 76 on the points list. One of the biggest shots of his career, considering he made birdie at a difficult hole like that. Harry Higgs at 18, rolls it in, shows what's out there at the home hole. 17, the leaderboard you see here, James. A couple players at nine under that are not tour bound. Unbelievable opportunities going into this weekend. There's always something to play for, Shane. If it's not priority ranking, once you're tour bound, getting as many starts as you can on the PGA Tour, it's getting to the Corn Free Tour Championships. And I think this weekend's gonna be very exciting considering a lot of the stories we've got yet to unfold.